This is Maritime Academy YouTube channel and uh, in this video we will continue to Annex 1 of Marple Convention with Regulation 18. Regulation 18 is about segregated ballast tanks and it says that crude oil tankers of 20,000 ton dead weight and product tankers of 30,000 ton dead weight and more which they are delivered after 1st June of 1982 shall comply with the requirements of this regulation for providing the segregated ballast tanks. What is this requirements? I have summarized these requirements in four conditions. So, for providing the segregated ballast tanks in these tankers, which I told you, crude oil tankers, 20,000 ton dead weight and more, product tankers, 30,000 ton dead weight and more, which they are delivered after 1st June of 1982, we shall comply with these four conditions. What is these four conditions? Let's talk about these four conditions. The first condition says that in any case, after design of these ballast tanks, in any ballast condition, you are in light ballast, heavy ballast, full ballast, your midship draft, in any case, shall not be less than 2 meter plus 0.2, 0 0.02 multiple length of the ship. The formula is here. And it says that your midship draft in any case shall not be less than this 2 meter plus 0 0.02 multiple length of the ship. In which cases, in the cases that your trim is not greater than 0 0.015 multiple length of the ship. I'm not telling you to memorize the formulas, but this is a very simple and very famous formula. So keep it in your mind. This is only two meter and plus one addendum. As you can see, this is uh, 0 0.02 multiple length of the ship. So keep it in your mind. This is the first condition. We will talk about this condition more. So this is the first condition that your segregated ballast tank shall fulfill with this first condition. The second condition is here that in any case, in any case, you shall not take the ballast in cargo tanks. Just in rare circumstances, by the decision of the master of the ship, we can take the dirty ballast inside the cargo tanks uh, for matter of the safety of the ship. In the third condition it says, if you are using the second condition and in some very rare circumstances you are taking the ballast in cargo tank this cargo tank shall be if it is a crude if your ship is a crude oil tanker this cargo tank shall be already crude oil washed under requirement of regulation 35 of annex 1 regulation of the regulation 35 of annex 1 which we will talk about this in future is about crude oil washing operations and the last condition it says for the tankers with less than 150 meter in land notwithstanding what we told you in the first condition formula the design capacity of this segregated ballast tanks shall be complied with the requirements of the administration So, we talked about the four conditions, which in this regulation we are telling that every vessel of this tonnage, of this delivery time after 1st June of 1982, which nowadays most of the ships, I'm telling you, if I don't tell you all the ships, I should tell you 95, 99% of the ships are more after 1982, so, so all tankers shall comply with this regulation. Thank you. In continue of this regulation, we are telling that for the tankers of more than 40,000 ton dead weight, 
also we have the same conditions and we shall fulfill with these four conditions. Just if you remember in the third condition where we were talking about the crude oil washing operations, I told you that we should that did that tankers shall comply with the requirements of the regulation 35 of Annex 1. But we are for the tankers more than 40,000 ton dead weight. Also, we are adding here regulation 33. Also, they shall comply in addition with regulation 35, which it was about, uh, which it was talking about uh, crude oil washing operations. They shall comply with regulation 33 also of the Senex, which is talking about crude oil washing uh, requirements. In other part of this regulation, regulation 18 of Annex 1, it says that the product tankers of 40,000 ton dead weight and more, which they are also delivered after 1st June of 1982, if they are going to use the dedicated ballast tank system instead of the segregated ballast tank system, they shall comply with another some requirements, which we are going to talk about that requirements. But before that, just remember, what was the difference between SPT, segregated ballast tank, and CBT, clean ballast tank, or dedicated ballast tank system? Simply, I'm telling you, the SPT, segregated ballast tank, is the ballast tank system that most probably now you have on board of your vessel. It means that a system which is segregated from the cargo system completely, it means that ballast tanks separate ballast tanks which separates cargo um, ballast tank lines and uh, ballast uh, pumps. It is a segregated ballast tank system. Segregated line, pumps and tanks. But in the dedicated ballast tank system or CBT, you have the same pipelines, same pumps as which we are using for the cargo system. So your ballast tank is actually is a cargo tank, which you are using that cargo tank as a ballast tank. That's why we are calling to that clean ballast tank system or dedicated ballast tank system. It means that it's not segregated from cargo tank system and it is actually some part of cargo system. So, for the product tankers of 40,000 ton dead weight and more, which are delivered after 1st June of 1982, if we are going to use the dedicated ballast tank system, we shall comply with these requirements. The first requirement says you shall comply with the first and second condition which we talked about it before. The first one was talking about Medship draft, minimum medship draft, and second one was talking about requirements for not taking the ballast in cargo tanks. Only you shall going to take in the case of emergency. This was the first condition for this case. And second condition it says, if you are going to use the dedicated ballast tank system, so the procedure which you are following shall be approved by your administration. And the third condition says, you shall use some type of content meter, oil content meter, when you are going to use, when you are going to do any operation by your dedicated ballast tank system. So we shall use such kind of, some kind of uh, oil content meter, same as ODME or something like that. And it shall be uh, um, approved by the administration. And the last condition says, in this case, you shall carry on board the dedicated ballast tanks operation manual, which is approved by the administration. So this was also the requirement regarding these product tankers of 40,000 ton dead weight, which still they are using dedicated ballast tank system. But just I want to tell you, rarely, now at the market you can find this type of tankers mostly i can tell you not exist also remember some two three small things in this regulation which i shall tell you remember that here also says that um, 
the vessels which which if exist if exist which I'm not telling that which I'm not thinking that they are exist which they are delivered before 1982 and they are using some any special blast tank operation special blast tank system a special blasting system what is this wordings this wordings telling to you that any other things except than what we are using now because they are very old ships so that special arrangement shall be approved by the administration and shall be mentioned inside the IOPP certificate another part of this regulation says that the tankers which they are delivered between 1979 and 1982 they shall also follow the first four condition which we talked about at the first of this video midship draft minimum not taking the cargo inside the ballast tank and also in case of less than 150 meter in length approval from the administration in the last part of regulation 18 there is another requirement about dimensions of uh, ballast tanks which you can see here and as for this formula which you can see here it says that the dimensions length breadth height of the ballast tanks shall fulfill with this requirement and these parameters so here we are going to finish uh, the regulation 18 i can finish it here i think and one more time thank you thanking you so much for watching me and wish to see you again for the next video